Hi there, this is uh, CJ Miller and I'm in Shreveport, Louisiana and today I'm working with the curry chicken. I have about six uh, laid out pieces uh, uh, of chicken that I've cut Hasselback style and to that I've added, oh, I want to say going with uh, maybe to start with about two cups, cup and a half, two cups of, um, of a really good olive oil, uh, probably about four teaspoons of curry powder, about two teaspoons well, no, I didn't use salt. I, I, so this calls, uh, what I'm looking here calls for garlic salt. I just used garlic powder. I omitted the salt. Uh, uh, two teaspoons, teaspoon and a half, whatever I eyeballed, of onion powder. Uh, probably about uh, two uh, teaspoons of uh, paprika. And that's what uh, the recipe called for doubled. You know, I eyeball, uh, eyeball this. You know, I didn't specifically measure. Uh, baking sauces are very forgiving as long as you can kind of go by taste. And then I used this product, which I found at some time, uh, and I don't even remember where I found it, but it was a nut and spice blend. And I thought it would go really good inside of this curry blend because, let me tell you what's in it. It has uh, the roasted almond meal, of course, uh, toasted sesame seed, cumin, uh, paprika and uh and inside that paprika there was a uh, you know dried ground lemon peel uh black pepper sea salt uh thyme some a little bit of cayenne pepper and really it's great for like sprinkling over like a uh you know unseasoned uh nuts and everything like that already because it's already got kind of a nutty flavor but yeah and so when i blended all this together and then i Kind of went in and dipped my finger to taste that sauce. I didn't dip it in the sauce. I took the, I took a little spoon out and I tasted it. I, I try to be very sanitary, even if I'm just cooking for myself for a couple of days, you know. Uh, so I'm going to let this sit and I'm going to let this rest. Then I'm going to bake it until the chicken is done. 350, eh, whatever, till done. You know, each oven's a little different. This might take, because it's sliced, it might take about half an hour to 40 minutes maybe less at 350. Uh, and then I've reserved some of this. Now I can use this for basting over this chicken. Uh, but I want to get this chicken thoroughly covered. Uh, so I may put a little bit more, see where I've got like some areas that are a little, uh, uh, don't have the sauce. I may put a little bit more on there. Uh, and then what I want to do is I want to thoroughly cook it. And then if there's some left, on, left here, I can use this for basting. Uh, some people add a little tomato or a little uh, butter or whatever. I just found this to be a really simple and very delicious curry style recipe. And it's going to work uh, wonders uh, in the oven, but it would work great stovetop as well. And uh, originally this was a grill recipe. The original recipe called for two tablespoons olive oil, two tablespoons curry powder, one tablespoon garlic salt, one teaspoon onion powder, one teaspoon of uh, paprika, and a pound and a half of uh, boneless, skinless chicken breast that you would put on your grill. So I made it, uh, you know, more more of a sauce and, and less of a rub, and uh, you know, simply did that by by uh, in increasing the volume of olive oil. The ratio of olive oil so um, but you do that to uh, yeah but it doesn't really it did not really affect the taste uh, that I could tell and it's it's an it's, it's an exceptionally delicious sauce I'm gonna pause the video and we'll come back uh, and we'll come back and see when it's done if the video if the video that I pause times out then I will more than likely just do like a second part to the video okay uh, but until then, love and light. This is uh, CJ and uh, bon appetit. Ah, so let's see. I think I'm going to come out here and just open the door here. Uh, you may or may not hear the vent fan going. Even though I'm baking and my oven really doesn't smoke on a, a typical... I like to run a vent fan anyway because it kind of helps pull some of the heat that emits, you know, from the oven. Uh, 
uh, everything, you know, so it kind of helps keep the rest of the apartment a little bit cooler. So anytime I'm cooking stovetop uh, or oven, I do uh, run a vent, and I run it on full blast, because, you know, that's just me. It's a, I got my weird things. Okay, um, but I did just put that curried chicken into the oven, and, uh, and I got it. I got it kind of low. I want to. I want to kind of do it low because I want to keep it uh, juicy. And so I have it on about 320, uh, rather than 350. Uh, once it gets going, that oven really kind of uh, heats up. It's a it's a convection style oven, uh, and so typically, typically with something like that, you can shave. 10 to 15 minutes off of your cooking time or you could lower your cooking temperature uh, just a little bit anyway I'm gonna cook it thoroughly the main thing is you just want the chicken to get done you want the chicken to get maybe to about 160 uh, 145 to 160 I don't know I, you definitely want to cook it to the to the till it's juicy but there's no more redness uh, you, do, you don't want your juices running pink, you want them running clear. Uh, and it is better if you can take your time with food instead of rushing through it, uh, especially with roasting like that. I just wanted to kind of get a good little view. Okay, I'll check back in a few minutes uh, with the chicken, and I will check back with you guys. My little, uh, <laughs> I didn't have like a big Christmas budget this year because it's my first year in the new apartment. Uh, <laughs> there's my tree. Uh, actually, I'm going to come over here and turn the lights on. Let that kind of go a little bit. I'm feeling festive. And, yeah. Uh, the lights don't twinkle. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, oh, no, 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 I can't. Uh, ooh. What the heck? Uh, <laughs> I don't drink. <laughs> It's, it's, this is, uh, um, uh, I'm starting to collect my gifts in that basket is going to be going to somebody. I'm going to turn it around. <laughs> that way, when I accidentally do something, they don't, they don't see it. I hope they don't follow me. I don't think anybody local follows me. I think we're safe. I think, I think their little Christmas bundle is safe, uh, <laughs> from, uh, spoiling for being spoiled uh by the video uh <laughs> anyway um yeah i love little things like that you know like in, in the absence of knowing what to get people get them get them uh some uh food items gourmet food items i'm not really an inventive gift giver if i have money then obviously i can go out and, and buy buku you know expensive gifts for uh for the family and friends and stuff, but that's just not my reality this year. Uh, plus, I still have an apartment that I'm trying to get together and get right here, so. Uh, but, even without a big budget, you just, uh, you buy, uh, yeah, if you know people, you can still get by uh, getting some gifts. Uh, by Saturday, this table is gonna be filled with things. Uh, uh, outside, I'll show you. Okay, back to a pause. Hi there, so I'm back. Uh, and I forget this video, you know, it's almost seamless as I do it. Okay, so what I've done was I've taken a can, just any brand can of sliced uh, new potatoes, and I put them in the remainder of. After I did my, my basting, I pulled the chicken out, and then I basted it. Uh, with And then there was some left in the bowl, and I didn't want to waste this. And then I got to thinking, well, I'm, I'm, I'm on a keto diet, but I'm due for a keto break. Now, this can has, per serving, uh, about two and a half servings per can, and uh, 14 uh, carbs, 14 grams of carbs per serving. That's a, yeah... That's maybe, in the can, that's maybe, uh, maybe 35-ish. I can eat the whole can, uh, and be 
you know, 35 carbs under, I mean, that's, seriously, that's great, because nothing in that chicken uh, contains uh, uh, net carbs, so that's wonderful. I just had to look, and to that effect, uh, per those, per 14 grams of carbs, two of those grams of carbs are uh, dietary fiber. Uh, that that is uh, that does not get absorbed into the body, the nutritional system that aids in digestion. Uh, so you can discount that if you're really if you're really counting on this. So it would be. 12, 12, and 6. So 24, 25, 26, 28, 30, 30. So approximately 30. So I want to stay, you know, to be on the safe side, give it around 35 uh, net carbs. Uh, I want to give, I always do this, I always give a little bit of a leeway in case I miss. What I've done, uh, basically I've taken that, put it in this bowl, uh, stirred it in with, with and I used the, 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 the liquid from the can. And then, uh, then the only thing I added was uh, some uh, black pepper. Uh, I just uh, ground black pepper because with my potatoes, I love a good black pepper. So this, I'm gonna let this soak in here while the chicken finishes. And then when it's finished, as the chicken's resting, I'm gonna take this into a uh, and into a pot on top of the stove, and I'm going to uh, boil this liquid down and heat these potatoes up. And uh, actually what I'll probably do is I'll probably put them into a, a, a medium heat skillet and I'll probably get more reduction of the liquid that way and a little bit of uh, brownness on these potatoes, you know. Uh, and uh, if need be, I can put in uh, just a touch of, uh, you know, butter. Uh, not margarine, uh, uh, but butter. Uh, but yeah, so I'm excited on that. I just decided, you know what? Uh, I'm going through all this effort. Uh, the chicken's gonna be good. Let me have a little something with it. So if you wanted a little, uh, if you wanted a little bit, uh, a third course, I would recommend uh, not, because this is a carb, but I would recommend not doing a vegetable that's, that's with the carb. Uh, you want to maybe stay away from like butter beans, you want, uh, wax beans, anything like that. They look like vegetables, and they are vegetables, uh, but nutritionally, some vegetables are actually carbs. So what you would want to do is you would maybe want to do, uh, you know, uh, a, a good salad with a very low carb dressing. Uh, and it wouldn't have to be a very fancy salad, you know, if you wanted to do something like that. You know, that would be okay, and that wouldn't throw off the keto. But I'm the one that's on keto. But, but, you know, not everybody is. So, obviously, if you do something like this, serve, serve the chicken with whatever you enjoy. Hi there. So, here we are, and... Um, well, so I would say this chicken is probably about half half finished, uh, and what I've been doing is I've been uh, cooking this at say three twenty five ish, uh, because my oven uh, cooks you know kind of you know uh, it, it's a it's a new oven it's a really good oven so cooking this at uh, three twenty five and um, we've got it we're about halfway done here. Um, and, uh, so I took it out to look at it. I, I love it. It's got a good crust forming on it. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's really, really great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit here. Cause I like to do one thing I like to do. I took it out to baste it and then, uh, put it back in the oven. After about 15 or so minutes, I, 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 I thoroughly basted it. And then, so I'm taking it out now and it's about, uh, 30 minutes into, uh, you know, yeah, give or take, of, uh, of actual oven time. Uh, probably closer to 35-ish, you know, from the time I actually put it into the oven and then I took it out and basted it at one point and then I put it back in. So we're probably uh, 35, 30, 35-ish, whatever, you know. Um, it's one of these things that you just want to, uh, you really just, 
you want to watch. Uh, I probably can say this will take another 20 minutes. Uh, but I took it out so it can sit on the countertop. Uh, I, one of the things that I like to do when I'm doing a large pan of, of meat like this is I like to take that the I, I like to take the uh, meat out of the oven probably about halfway through cooking time, let it rest on the counter. Uh, I let it come down to temperature a little bit. Let some of the fluids kind of absorb back into the meat to help it keep, help keep it from getting too dry. Uh, that can be for me a good quality. Uh, even uh, even as basting can keep the meat moist, so can giving this a chance. So it's just five or so minutes of resting on this counter, and then it's going to go back into the oven at the same uh, temperature. Uh, uh, until, until it's done. Uh, just one little step there. Uh, it won't be that much longer. And of course, I've got my potatoes uh, resting in the bowl over here. Uh, and I'm so excited about this meal. It's going to be delicious. Okay, so uh, this looks and smells amazing. And it's just about done. I've done the whole thing with a little bit of tin foil over this lid, over the pan. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to do now is actually I'm going to put uh, this back into the oven. It's done. This this is done. Uh, it's taken oh I say thirty no oh, forty five ish forty five minutes to get done. But I'm going to put it back into the oven and get a little bit of this crispiness, uh, just a little bit more. It's got a good crust. It's got a good uh, crust as it is. I could serve it as it is, but I do. I, would, I want this to be just a little bit more crisp uh, on the top. So uh, and five minutes more without the foil, and then we'll come back and we'll see what's up. So here we have uh, the pan of the chicken and you can see the fluids have recessed back into the chicken and then uh, kind of thickened and thinned out. But this is great to have with rice, uh, but I'm having mine with the potatoes. I've taken these potatoes off the heat uh, and it's, this has uh, kind of become, uh, the broth uh, has kind of thickened a little bit. Uh, you know, it's... Uh, it's very suitable uh, as it is. If you wanted to add cornstarch uh, or something, you could thicken it and it would become more of a, a, a gravy or, or a glaze or something like that. That would increase the, uh, the carb count minutely. But yeah, that was great. So what I've done, and, uh, so everything that I've done, uh, you know, was basically just use the seasonings that were in the bowl, added some black pepper, and then just as garnish, I put uh, some red pepper on as this steeps. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, just thickens for the heat. So I'm going to let this rest, particularly for this, because I've taken it off the heat, and in about uh, two to three minutes, uh, this is really going to be a thicker, uh, sauce and uh, then I'm going to plate it up and I'm going to eat it and we're going to enjoy it or I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, hang on. Ah, so here we are and we have, uh, it's not really my best job of plating up, I guess yeah, the, the sauce drizzled on the plate from the, uh, let me turn it this way, <laughs> better. Okay, so anyway, we have a uh, I'm gonna say good food, uh, it's spreadable. <laughs> we have the uh, the roast curry chicken. Now this started out being, the recipe is for a grilled curry. I did it in the oven. Uh, and then I've got uh, the potatoes uh, in the same curry, uh, the leftover from the, from the bowl. Uh, and then uh, with a couple of uh, garnishings of uh, hot peppers. I've got over here, I've got some of the broth from the pan that the chicken is in, and then I've got uh, some sharp cheddar. Whenever you serve something that's maybe got a little bit of a pepperish to it, a little bit of pepper, especially if it's the first time you're having that recipe. Um, and this is not the first time I'm having something 
with, with red pepper or anything like that. But you really do. You, you want to serve something, anything that you calls, that has a, a salty flavor or anything that has a, a, a heat, a, a flavored heat. You want to have a little bit of a dairy, uh, like a cheese or milk or something like that, because that will actually, uh, you know, smooth out and calm the uh, chemical reaction that, that causes the heat in case you get too much heat on your palate, uh, in your mouth, uh, or, and salt. It'll also, uh, calm down, uh, salt if you get a little bit too much salt in your, in your way. So I'm going to take, uh. I don't know. I'm actually starved for this. This is a basic, nothing special, uh, but what's not special about cheese? And I just, I'm craving this flavor. Uh, and that's good. So I want to kind of dip it because I love it. Get it here a little bit. Hmm. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. You can put a little uh, yogurt, actually, in, in this curry mixture if you want to. It's not called for in the recipe that I named. Mmm. Oh, that's great. I think my body is just starved for the carbs. You know, keto sometimes you really just want to have that. Okay, so here's... I'm going to uh, maybe just take a little piece of this small... Uh, chicken from the small and you see how the curry when you when you kind of uh hassle it like this uh it's uh it gets really you can get that that flavor all the way through uh this chicken and it's great but it's easy to handle because it's still connected uh so you can like lift the whole chicken out at once so that's good uh so this is great oh my god i i know it is i'm about to tell you and i'm going to confirm how delicious it is Damn, if you love a good uh, curry flavored chicken, this is the way to go. Honestly, it's actually, it's good, uh, but uh, ha has somewhat of a, somewhat of a mild sub subdued uh, texture. Like if you wanted to, you could add a little, uh, mm. you could actually add a little pepper to that if you want to, but okay, there it is. It takes a second. There it is. Okay, so the balance, there's just an undercurrent of, um, okay, this is not a spicy food at all, but there's a subtle, there's a subtle presence of um, some sort of, some sort of pepper, but it's not, there, you, it's not, it doesn't register on the palate as a, as a heat. If that makes any sense. It's a well-balanced blend. Mm. It was a good recipe. Uh, mm, I can tell you that, uh, yeah, it's there. It's, but it's not, it's not spicy at all. I love it. So this is good. Um, I've actually kind of surprised myself. This was my first time trying this particular recipe. And then I did play around by using the remainder of the uh, the 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 pour the the, the curry, uh, and I, mm. I'll tell you, I think I want when it gets here, when you start getting into it, the thicker pieces of chicken. Let's see what would happen if I take this and just kind of scoop it into this. Hmm. And that just kind of helps carry the flavor. If you if you were doing this and you had maybe some uh, pita bread, warm tea pita bread or something like that, or a good hearty bread that would hold up, you could use it uh, uh, to dip that. You know, uh, this would also be good to pour to pour into a cheese dip, and uh, kind of work with if you were going to do something with some dips or something like that. Uh, you know, work with some fondue or something like that. Don't waste these good, delicious flavors. Find things to do with them. Okay, I'm enjoying my meal. I'm going to sign off on here. 
And uh, I just want to say, um, when I was doing the uh, the video, at one point I was like, bon appetit. Uh, I don't know what, what an Indian uh, uh, phrase for, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, bon appetit might be, you know. But my philosophy in life when it comes to mealtime is uh, to enjoy it. Play with your food. Love and light. I love you. Bye.